So you want to thicken your acrylic paint. It's really simple with acrylic thickener. Okay, so I'm gonna take the most obvious one to try and thicken, the most obvious acrylic paint, which is fluids. And it is, as the name suggests, really, really thin. I'm gonna turn this into a heavy bodied paint. So just adding a few drops, it's going to mix this and it's going to go a little bit like cottage cheese to begin with. You can see it's thickening instantly. It's literally that simple. But now I can apply it with the palette knife. I'll just say that you, you need to mix, mix it quite well to get a nice consistency, get it mixed throughout. If you only half mix it, you'll end up with little lumps and something that looks a bit like cottage cheese. So just keep mixing and it will go nice yeah? and creamy and even for you. Now, we're going to try mixing with Flow, a medium viscosity paint. So you can see that's a bit thicker. It'll take less drops of the acrylic thickener and once again we want to keep mixing until we get a even texture and viscosity and last but not least we're actually going to try the structure which is really quite thick to begin with, but see if we can get it really thick, similar to using, I guess, a textured gel or a compound medium by thickening it up just that little bit more. It's akin to using impasto medium, but of course, anything you mix with the color that's not more of the, uh, the same color is going to reduce the intensity of the color. And we're not doing that here. So it takes a little while to make sure you've mixed, mixed it in thoroughly, get past that sort of seedy cottage cheese stage. Don't just keep adding the acrylic thickener though, because it will get to a point where it'll stop working and you'll actually start to thin thin it down it'll be like adding water again so you'll just find that sweet spot but this is this has now turned the structure into something that's uh, quite a paste quite a really thick um, dense paste so you saw that it thickened the the fluids up considerably and even the flow it's thickened up but the structure we've we've managed to get it even thicker and be able to really get some texture out of that. So acrylic thickener, keep it in the studio when you, you want to add it to some of your acrylic paints to, to thicken them up or give them some real body. So a couple of things to note. Firstly, don't add too much. How much you add to each colour will be different. It'll only be a few drops, but each colour can be quite different. So just be careful to, to watch as you go and you're mixing and don't let it go beyond that point where it starts to actually thin it down. Secondly, only mix up enough that you're gonna use in the session or at least over the next couple of days. You don't wanna mix up a really big batch keep it for months on end because there's every chance if you go a little bit too thick it might start to thicken even further and even go hard before you get a chance to use it so if you've got a whole range of matisse flow colors or fluids or or really any thin acrylics and you want to try your hand at, at textured painting then then try adding a little bit of acrylic thickener thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe